today we're here with Kieran and he's kindly invited us into his home to yeah. check out his game room. Yeah, I'm finally back. Finally back, man. <laughs> back with back vengeance. After a long hiatus. So, should we do it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. This, I believe, is the American Collector's Edition. If you can find this, and obviously if you've never played the series, I'd highly recommend getting into it. Any Wii U owners, if you haven't got this game, you know, get on it. Got a beer glass there for Brewdog, my best mate. Yet to use it, but hey, use it in the future. Um, PSP box, um, original obviously, I've got the PSP stand in, we'll that in a bit and uh, the PS3 Slim. Now what I've done in terms of my layout is I've tried to lay it out by um, by console. Original PlayStation, still works, fantastic. I picked this up at a car boot sale with the with the carrier case and everything for five pounds. So I'm not gonna say no to that. Official memory card, as I said, I just like to keep these things just for, you know, just for collector's sake. We've got a couple of games, uh, what is in there? That one is Dino Crisis 2, Shaolin, fantastic. Air Combat Zero Divide, G Police, Tomb Raider, Soul Blade, uh, Force Challenge, V Rally 1 2, a Mega Memory Card, Mega Memory Card. We've got Broken Sword, classic games. Great game. I prefer them on the PC, but I couldn't say no to picking them on the PlayStation. Uh, Brian Lara Cricket and John Luma Rugby. Now, I'm not a massive um, sports fan when it comes to games, but I've got so much nostalgia about these games. Ballerina Tashin, nice little fighting game. Driver 2, Wipeout 20, I love the Wipeout series. And um, Tekken, no, I love Tekken. Um, Tekken 1 and 2. And this is quite interesting because this is actually very hard to find. It's, it's the original cardboard version. It's one of the yeah. original cardboard versions. Um, as I said, all it is is just the packaging is different. Um, but as I said, it's uh, very uncommon to find this now. The graphics are horrendous with the game now, but hey, on nostalgia value, I said it's a fantastic game. And the absolute classic, my favourite of the entire series, Tekken 2. I love this game, and I'll be honest with you, I think any Tekken fan reveals this game as the best in the series. Ronin Blade, now this is a very good game where which went under the reign down by Konami. Um, I'd say one of Konami's lesser popular titles. Um, as I said, it's a really good game. Obviously really dated now um, from a nostalgia point of view for me, but give it a go if you can find it. Uh, Bushiri Blade, another fantastic game. Tenchu, I love the Tenchu series. Um, I say again, that's nostalgia for me as my childhood. And the, uh, all the releases of the Ridge Racer series Ridge on, Racer. on a PlayStation 1. And as you can tell, me and my brother are Ridge Racer fans. Um, the only one I'm missing is the remix, Ridge Racer remix, I think it was. Yeah, I um, think the, the double disc one. Yeah, I, I know Revolution that. was the um, remix. Button. One sec, let me zoom in on that. Pre-owned 24 pence. Now that, that's beautiful. That's what I call a bargain. Moving on to the PlayStation 3. Got a couple of key titles here. I know I'm going to say it's a sacrilege, but I preferred this on the PC. But obviously, I had to pick up this edition. Day of Sex Human Revolution. Great game. Now, I love this game. It is such a good game. The tone, everything. And the fact that obviously the new ones come out now, uh, Mankind Divided, I cannot wait to get on it. Another little fact edition, just Wolfenstein, the new order. Um, Ace Combat, Assault Horizon. I did not like this game at all. I love Ace Combat. I'm an absolute advocate of the series, but I did not like this at all. Dark Souls, kick my ass. <laughs> Demon Souls, kick my ass. Plays Blue, um, limited edition as well. As you can tell, there's a bit of a trend here with these sort of games. I love the collector's editions because obviously I love the franchise. Um, Blaze Blue again, the American version. Um, it's Calamity Trigger, fantastic. Argus Generations War uh, Zero, One and Two. Again, as I mentioned earlier, fantastic series. One of the prides of the collection, um, Soul Calibur on the um, on the Steelbook, which is fantastic. Uh, Devil May Cry Four, yeah. Uncharted, uh, the collector's editions that we've got there as well, or sorry, say the limited editions that came out. I'm late to the Tales series in terms of RPGs. Um, I'm a big RPG fan. I was more Final Fantasy based, probably like the majority of people with uh, RPGs, but the Tales series I've grown to love over the, um, over the years. But Tales Grace is F. This, believe it or not, is a Spanish version, but everything else is in English. Um, the extras, the booklets, everything. Four pound. I cannot say no to that. We've got the day one editions of Tales of Exilia and Tales of Exilia 2. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, um, so obviously the, first, uh, the two games in there. And obviously I've got the novel from the collector's edition as well. Another gem, an absolute gem of a game. Fire Level 5 and obviously Studio Ghibli, Nino Kuni. Now this game, uh, I can't describe it, it is just J uh, JRPG at its finest. And obviously with the announcement of the second one coming, major hype on that one. Now there's another game which went under the radar, but it's one of my 
I love it. And it's Valkyrie Chronicles. This game's art style, everything about it is just fantastic. And it is a game which will kick your ass. If you can get this, I highly recommend getting it. Um, Star Ocean Short Piece. Now this is a bit, again um, a uh, collection of animated movies, but the only reason why I've got this in here is because there's a game which came with this as well. But it's said, I've yet to actually watch this, but I'm really looking forward to actually giving it a go. Internal Sonata, really good. Um, White Knight Chronicles 1 and 2. Now, I've recently completed these. I wouldn't say they were fantastic, but I really enjoyed them for what they were. And let's just hope they make a third one. Um, Enchanted Arms, really old, classic JRPG turn-based. I'll be honest with you, um, I'm recently playing this at the moment, um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Resonance of Fate, now this game I've yet to complete here, but bloody hell, this game will kick your ass. The visuals and everything about this game is fantastic. Um, so if you want something which is extremely challenging, I'd highly recommend picking this up. Um, Folklore. Uh, the Awakened Fate. Now this is a very underappreciated game and one that I haven't really seen in many people's collections but I think it's absolutely fantastic. El Shaddai. Now this is a very, should I say, unique experience of a game. A very uh, philosophical game. It's really hard to describe but if you can find it I'd highly recommend picking it up. Um, another under the radar game uh, via Capcom, Remember Me. Now this game, I played it on the PC originally, um, I loved it. Um, so obviously I had to pick up this version, but again, this is a very underappreciated game. Um, and for what it is, it is fantastic sci-fi at its best. Um, another under the radar game, as you can see, there's a bit of a trend here with the uh, with the games. I go for more or less games which are not me mega popular, over the top, crazy. It's just bonkers. Um, but again, it's fantastic, but epic in scope. Asura's Wrath. Now, this game is just. As I said, it's bonkers. I've got two games here which are in much debate in regards to Shenmue fans and are more or less classed as the, I wouldn't say spiritual successor um, to the Shenmue franchise, but obviously most people dubbed it as Shenmue Evolved, so to speak, and that's the Yakuza series. Now, I've got the, I've got the first two on the PS2, um, and I'll be honest with you, I was very skeptical when I first got into these, but I've grown to love the series. It's a damn shame about the fifth one. I know that's released on PSN, but no physical copy, so I'm gutted about that, but hey, I may pick up the, um, the Japanese version for that. Prince of Persia, now this is again another um, game which is gone under the radar, shall I say, it doesn't get much love, but this uh, version by Ubisoft is beautiful, beautiful uh, art direction, the music is fantastic, and it's absolute pennies. Um, I know a lot of people complain about it being easy, um, which it is, um, but I really, really, really um, give it a go and see what you think. The Assassin's Creed uh, series, now, like my brother, I do love Assassin's Creed. I'm only up to Rogue at the moment. I'm too poor, I haven't got a PS4. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's hope Santa brings me one. I'm really enjoying the series, but my favorite of all time is Assassin's Creed 2. They, they are a fantastic series, but it's kind of lost a lot of its direction over time. Lord of the Rings, Arrogance Quest. This is kind of like a little bit of a successor to the novels and the franchise itself, which I really, really like. Ridge Racer again, fantastic Ridge Racer 7 and Unbound. Um, two classic games via, obviously, Mr. Kojima himself, um, the Castlevania Lords of Shadow 1 and 2. Now, I love these games, they're fantastic. Um, you know, hey, you've got Patrick Stewart, what can I say, nothing more than that. Okay guys, so getting back to the um, last little bit section of the PS3 collection here. As you can see, change in terms of the uh, the camera quality, had to change, because obviously James is a bit of a bit of a stingy git. Hey, fuck and... off, you're just, you're just <laughs> chatting too much shit. <laughs> a bit of a stingy git and don't get a, a bigger SD card, but oh well, not a problem. Um, Genji Days of the Blade, Afro Samurai, we've got Metal Gear uh, Rise and uh, Vengeance. Uh, the HD collection of Metal Gear Solid, great way to replay them. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, really fantastic good game. And the only PS4 game I've got in my collection, even though I don't own a PS4, is the re-released version of um, Valkyrie's Chronicles Remastered. Now this is a nice little set. As I said it comes with a little art book, uh, poster, and all of the DLC with regards to it. So once I get a PS4, I'm looking really forward to playing this uh, and getting, getting on that. Um, PSP, um, as I said, I've got a small collection on the PSP. I'll be honest with you, I'm more predominantly RPGs, so I'm working on that to try and get as much as I can. Um, Lord of Arcana, uh, that's the um, collector's edition. Really good little RPG. Again, a very, very hard game to find. Um, is the second Valkyrie Chronicles for the PSP. As I don't know what Sega were thinking, they took these games from the, from the main consoles onto the handhelds. I've yet to play this, but I'm looking forward to playing it. 
Um, we've got Shinobi Tales and Ninja, Ace Combat X Skies uh, of Deception, Dragonese Aria, Fantastic Blood, uh, sorry, Blade, Dancer, Fantastic, and Black Hard Knight. So that's a PSP. This is one of the games that I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend that everyone plays. This is To the Moon. I said this is the um, collector's edition. I said it's uh, dual formatted and it comes with a soundtrack and everything like that. And my brother and James can recommend uh, this game to you as well. It's hard to describe. This game just hits you in the feels hard. I never knew there was a physical uh, release. Yep, it's a physical release. I'm getting that as soon as I leave. <laughs> physical release, as I said, but I'd highly recommend obviously trying to pick this up. It's just such a phenomenal game, so uh, to the moon. So going on to the next section here, uh, we've got the uh, Dreamcast itself now. I'm an advocate of the Dreamcast, same as my brother, but sadly, when we moved a long time ago, my, most of my collection got stolen. I didn't look back into it because now, believe it or not, Dreamcast games are going up in value. It's a working model, uh, but I do have a box model as well. A VMU, really good game, very hard to find. Berserk, now I'm a fan of Berserk, the anime series on the market, or sorry, the manga per se, um, but definitely if you can find that, I'd give that a go. And then the classic, the classic, and obviously put in a lovely bag, we got Shenmue. Um, now, obviously, as you know, we, um, well, we do run the podcast on here in search of Shampoo, in search of Landy, um, as I said. So, shameless plug there for you. But as I said, if you can find this game, it's gone up in value, obviously. But if you can find it, pick it up, play it. Shenmue 2 um, on the Dreamcast. I've got obviously both versions here. Um, as I say, the discs. Silly me, I lost the slipcover, which I regret wholeheartedly. And I'm on the lookout to um, get that replaced. So, if you have a spare one, hit me up. We've got a little figure here, a little Zangi figure. This was obviously going to, uh, this was given to my best friend. Uh, for I believe it was one of my birthdays. Um, nice little figure that I've got there. One DS game, which is Professor Layton. Um, I'm in the throes of trying to get all of these games because I really do like the Professor Layton games. Um, and a little Minecraft figure, which was from my nephew. Um, as I said, so that's a nice little uh, treasured little uh, figure there. PS2 collection. Now, PS2 is my favourite console, more or less of all time. You can't deny that this, this, uh, this actual console is just phenomenal. Um, so we've got a couple of, um, and more or less obviously RPGs. There's a couple of filler titles in here as well, but I don't really collect for it as much as I used to, um, because obviously the prices are shooting up ridiculously. Uh, but we'll just get into it. We've got Grandia 2, really good RPG. Arc Twilight of the Spirits. Uh, Shin Megami Tensai, Lucifer's Call. I'm really looking, I really want to try and get the Digital Devil Sagas, um, so I'm working on that. A nice little cheap one, uh, Orphan, uh, Design of Sorcery. Star Ocean till the end of time with a bonus disc. Um, again, really good game. Uh, Fantasy Star Universe One and Two. Now these, I believe, have gone under the radar, um, but they're really good little, um, really good little RPGs um, in terms of um, in terms of the PS2. The dreaded, the dreaded Platinum Edition of Kingdoms Hearts One. Now I'm in debation of whether or not to replace this with an original PS2 version, or obviously just go with the remix. Um, so I'm going to be watching that space to see what happens there. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Two, uh, Ring of Red, a really under the radar a turn-based RPG, really good game. Uh, Rogue Galaxy, fantastic. Uh, Magna Carta, yet to play it, but really looking forward to. Now, one of my favourite game series of all time, and you can find the first one for Peanuts, and the soundtracks to these games are fantastic, the Kessen series. Now, Kessen 1, 2, and 3. Um, Kessen 3 went more or less from the formula um, as what the first two were, but out of all of these games, I'd probably say from a nostalgia point of view as well, but this is one of my favourite games of all time. The soundtrack, the gameplay is, well, how do I put it, it's old, it hasn't held up well. But again, it's a fantastic game and I'll definitely give it a go. Another series that, believe it or not, I know I own, I know the, I own the entire series, but I've yet to complete them. And that's the Onimusha series. And I'll be honest with you, I really do think with this series that, as I've said, Capcom need to get on releasing this in a HD collection. Because I think if they do that, it will sell like hot takes. Another fantastic game. Uh, which I believe was in one of James's um, uh, top ten or top top five collections, and one of my favourite games as well, Shadow of Memories. Now this game is phenomenal. It's one of Konami's, I would say, under the radar titles, but I would definitely, definitely pick this up. You can find that it's a fantastic game. Again, as I mentioned earlier, with the Accuser series one and two, uh, Gungrave. Um, obviously, I had to pick it up because I'm a fan of the anime. Another favourite game of mine, and obviously this is um, another one which is under the radar. And I was actually introduced to this by one of my good friends uh, many years ago, and that's Shadow of Rome. Now, this is one of Capcom's stabs at kind of like the Roman era in terms of games. Uh, so, but it's like a hack and slash, bit of RPG. It's got it's such a mixed bag, but I'd really recommend this title to you. 
and you can pick it up for relatively quite cheap at Shadow of Rome. Courtesy of my brother via trade because I absolutely love this game to bits. Fahrenheit, um, as I said, it's an absolutely fantastic game um, and I definitely pick that up. Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. I'm a fan of Ghost in the Shell, as you can tell. Genji, the Ace Combat series. I love, I absolutely adore Ace Combat and Distant Thunder is my favourite one of all time. Bouncer, when it was Square Soft, but obviously Square Enix. Very much under the radar, it was very clunky. I don't know, there's was something about it, probably because it was one of the first titles I picked up. Uh, Tenshu Wrath of Heaven, uh, Chaos Legion, Devil King, Sword of the Samurai, Kengo Master of Bushido, Seven Blades, Dragon Guard, Zone of Enders, the original, uh, Lara Croft, uh, Raider to uh, sorry, uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition. I don't have the third one, but Xeno Saga Episode 1, this is a uh, American version, because uh, it never came out in this country. And Xenosaga Episode 2, which had a bonus DVD, which was more or less what happened in the first game. And the third one is beyond impossible to find. This series needs a re-release. I hope to God, I, there is a rumour that it's going to happen soon. Um, I definitely, definitely, definitely go, they are, how can I put it, PlayStation 2 RPGs at their finest. But yeah, Xenosaga, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Soul Calibur 2 and Soul Calibur 3. Uh, Evergrace, just an empty case there. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, Ridge Racer 5 and R Racing. Um, another under the radar game, Death by Degrees. The classic that is Tech, Tech and Tech Tour, uh, Tech and Tech Tournament, Tech and Bowl. Needless to say, more wasted so much time on this. Uh, Tech and Four, Spectral vs. Generation, uh, so uh, sorry, Swords of Destiny, Summon the One, Two, Eternal Ring, uh, the Lord of the Rings games that came out, and um, the Third Age. Believe it or not, um, this is a really good little RPG um, by EA, which really surprised me. Um, but I said I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Devil May Cry Classics 1 and 2, Resident Evil Pokemon of Rex Classic, Getaway Manhunt, um, love this game. Operation Run Back, again, I uh, love this game. Uh, Hobbit, Lord of the Rings game again. Gladiator, uh, Sword of Vengeance. Bin Nostalgia, so uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Griffin Blaze, uh, we've then got Lara Croft, uh, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, Fever Speed, Metal Gear Solid 3 Classic, Broken Sword, uh, Steven Dragon Classic. Uh, the King Kong, haven't played a game, just picked up as a collector's edition. Alcohol 3 thing. Uh, mainly for my partner, Crash uh, Twin Sanity, she loves Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Time Crisis 3, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, classic. Yu Gi Oh! Judas of the Roses. Soul Reaver 2, a classic. Ju uh, Deus Ex, classic. Deadly Strike, nice little fighting game. Eve Extension, yet to play, only yet to play. Uh, we've got Spin the Cell Double Agent, Headhunter, In Invasion, Time Splitters. And then we've got some Japanese games. Now, I'll be honest with you, I mainly pick these up because of the box art, but I'm looking forward to giving them a go. Obviously, I had to pick it up. That's the bounce of the Japanese version. I said, really cool. Obviously, it's just for a whole, it's the same game. It's just the packaging. So obviously, um, I had to go and pick that up. This is Steam Boy. Um, it's another game which is uh, based off an anime. Um, I love Steam Boy, um, as I told you earlier, with regards to uh, a little bit of the uh, collection overview with the anime. Um, I've yet to play, well, so you know, I have played this game slightly, and for what it was, I have enjoyed it. Now, this game, uh, it's called Fu An uh, Shinsengumi. Now, I don't know anything about this game. I solely picked this game up based on the art. Mm. Now, if you look at the art, as you probably just heard James in the background, it's, it's, a it's yeah, it's it's obviously the same artist with regards to the uh, Metal Gear Solid franchise with the character designs. Um, as I said, I believe this is a samurai game. Um, probably probably similar to Way of the Samurai, that sort of thing. But I'm not too sure, um, as I said. But it's a Japanese game. As I said, I found it going for absolute peanuts. So I thought, hey, um, I'm going to give it a little go. And obviously, when you've got a nice little um, you know, nice little art, things like that. So I'd probably just say from an artistic point of view, that's probably why I like the game. But that's my small little Japanese collection. One of my prides in my collection, as you can see on the top here, the RPGs for the Wii and the Wii U. First off, Pandora's Tower, limited edition. Obviously, um, I'll go into detail, obviously, a bit later with regards to these sets, um, as I said, but these sets are very, I'm not saying very difficult to find, you can find them, but they're asking stupid money for them, as I said, but they're great to have in a collection. So Pandora's Tower, um, The Last Story, um, obviously, no Matsu with regards to the music. Uh, Xenoblade uh, Chronicles, the original on the Wii, yet to play this, but I'm really looking forward to that as well. And one of the ones, obviously, which I mentioned earlier in terms of uh, the Wii U, uh, the Xenoblade Chronicles X. Now, with regards to the package, I've got a lot of limited edition items, but I'm looking to pick up the limited edition again as well, solely just for the art, uh, for the box itself. So, but yeah, if you can get on it, Xenoblade Chronicles X or any of these before, that regards to that. Another good companion piece as well, um, as I said, the uh, strategy guide in regards to this, really detailed, 
um, as I said, it got a little bit of art in there as well. Um, as I said, it's a really good companion piece to the actual game. Um, now going on to the pride of my collection, um, I'm a massive Final Fantasy fan. Happy been from days out. Um, as I said, um, these are, I've got quite a few old releases, but I've got from, I believe, Final Fantasy IV, um, all the way up until the uh, uh, Fantasy XIV, so I've got a couple of things for you. Uh, the PSP Complete Collection, we've got four in the after years. Uh, you have to play this one, I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. Um, the absolute gem, the classic, uh, the one that more or less started it all for everyone, uh, Final Fantasy VII. As I said, I've had this for God, my in probably over half my life uh, with regards to this game, but I said, um, and hell yeah, that they're making a remastered version, um, or should I say, a reimagining of the game, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, something you don't really see, and the game which got a lot of flack when it came out was the um, uh, Final Fantasy VII Digi Service. Now, this was part of like the uh, compilation of Final Fantasy uh, back, I believe, in the early 2000s. Um, this set here was on like the limited edition set, which came with a lovely art box. Um, as I said, it, uh, with and obviously you've got um, Gat there, who's the um, the main, I would say, singer for the main themes uh, of the actual uh, series itself. I'll go into this big detail with you because it's a really nice set. Uh, we've got the official soundtrack, where it does obviously the game, uh, the game itself in power release, and then just I said just for the hell of it. I picked up the Japanese limited edition 4 version, so I said, but you don't really see these sets very often, um, and it's a really, 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 really nice set to work. Uh, Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VIII, another one which I really loved and adored. Uh, so I prefer more or less the older style Final Fantasies than the newer ones, but um, from a nostalgia point of view, Final Fantasy VIII, definitely. Um, a love letter to the um, earlier Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy IX, one of my favourite in the series. Really good, really good, I definitely go. Um, the original PS2 runs of Final Fantasy X and X2, and then obviously then the HD remastered versions on the PS3. Um, Final Fantasy XI on the PS2, this is the Japanese version. Final Fantasy XII, the original version, obviously that's a power release. And then one of my prizes in the collection, the collector's edition of Final Fantasy XII. Obviously this is the American version, but it's a uh, bonus material, really nice steel case, but obviously I've got that protected. Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, trilogy that you've got here, obviously the Final Fantasy XIII Collector's Edition. Um, and obviously they changed it up for the Final Fantasy XIII 2, which I preferred to be honest. And they said it's got obviously all the parts in there as well. And it's got a really nice um, little, little chip art box set on there as well, so that's great. Um, as I said, I'll be honest with you, I've only completed the thir 13, I've yet to play the other two. Um, I know this game got a lot of, well, I'm not going to say hate, but a lot of flack. Um, but I uh, said so with regards to the game itself. I quite enjoyed it for what it was, but um, I've heard that these redeem it, so to speak. Um, obviously, then we've got the uh, Steelbook for 10 2, uh, sorry, for 13 2, and then Lightning Returns, um, the Steelbook, and the original version of Ross, so I'm looking forward to them as well. A uh, little Moogle Teddy that I bought my uh, partner, uh, God, way about uh, 15, 16 years ago, um, but still got it, fantastic. And um, a really nice little collector set. Uh, it's a PS3 version, we've got the PlayStation 3. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV uh, Realm Reborn Collector's Edition. I said this set is lovely. Um, I said it's got a really nice box set and got a couple of things in there as well. Going down as well, um, I'm a bit of a. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, when it comes to music, I like my physical media. Um, obviously, digital music, fantastic. But with regards to say any um, OSTs for games, movies, anime, anything like that, I will pick up on a whim. Um, we've got Lord of the Rings, um, we've got Lord of the Rings, motion picture soundtrack, Final Fantasy motion picture, uh, Trinity Bloods, uh, Escaponi, uh, Vampire Hunter D soundtrack, we've got the Samurai Champloo uh, soundtrack, which is really good. Uh, we've then also got White Hot soundtrack, Agus Generations of War, Spirited Away, fantastic, and Joe Hiyashi, what can I say, an absolute master. Now, my favourite composer of all time. Uh, which obviously I'll do um, I said in terms of a video with regards to that a bit later um, is um, Kenji Kawai. Now, if you've heard this man's music, you know for a fact you know what I'm talking about. And my favourite album of all time is Pat Label 2, the soundtrack. Now, the reason why I love this is obviously nostalgia point of view, and it's just the soundtrack is so eerie, um, and it's just up and down. It's you know it, it's light fun at some points, and then it's um, Reflective on another element, but it's a really good soundtrack. Uh, Sound of Death Notes and Avalon, really, really anything by Kenji Kawai. If I can find it, I'll pick it up. 
Um, can't believe you got the full one. Um, I said in terms of the uh, soundtrack, so I've got every single one of you the same as well. I've really enjoyed the movie of Cowboy Bebop. And then, last but not least, we've got Deus Ex Human Revolution. I had to pick this up because it is a fantastic, fantastic album. Um, and, and then, with regards to just a couple of bit of overflow, um, another series which I treasure um, in terms of anime is Drum and Down. And once I found the OST, the Japanese release, I had to go pick that up as well. I've got Little Me and Genesis you can get in single here as well, uh, Fly Me to the Moon, which is great. A couple of other little things as well, a uh, short piece art book, uh, just about well, anime related. Uh, that's just a little instructions book with regards to the game. Uh, these are really nice, uh, the Trinity Blood, um, as I said, uh, OSTs, music file, whatever you want to call them. Japanese releases, obviously, um, but these obviously are uh, nice little collector sets, um, and they're very, very uh, you don't see them very often. Uh, Ghost in the Shell 2, uh, in a sense, the music video anthology, obviously, because I love Ghost in the Shell. This is just part of the collection, so you've got the OST, um, and then you've got like um, a DVD uh, on there with like music videos, promotional videos, all that sort of thing. So anything relating to that series, um, I do. And last but not least, um, on this here, we've got a little speaker. Um, obviously, this is a Bluetooth speaker. It's by a company called Kitsand. And I'll be honest with you, I had this at Christmas, and I was quite skeptical when I first had it as it was dubbed a, um, a disco speaker. And yeah, it's got cool little lights on there as well, but I'll be honest with you, it's a damn good little speaker. Um, so it comes in really handy for like the room found you know, chilling, reading, or anything like that, so I'm just playing up music in the background. Um, down to the next level, um, as you can see, you've got the original PSP. Um, as I said, this is, the, uh, this is one of the fat models. Um, as I've said, uh, it is, it is homebrewed up. Um, so obviously I've got a couple of um, digital titles in there as well. But um, as I said, this, it's a damn shame the PSP never took off the way it should have. Um, but as I said, it's a fantastic little console. Uh, we've got a couple of figures there. We've got Zero Saga. Uh, we've got the uh, little figure there as well. We've got a little pop figure there of Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Goku, and then the Wii U gamepad. Um, and then down to the TV itself. Now this is a 32 inch brush. I don't know the exact model. Um, it's a smart TV. It hasn't got hooked up to the Wi-Fi or anything like that. But it does the job. It's got good clarity. Um, as I said, it's a TV. I need to say more. Um, so going down to the actual uh, consoles itself. Now I haven't got, um, I haven't really got. I don't own a PS4, nor do I own an Xbox One. Um, I said I've got a bit more of a backlog when it comes to games. Obviously, being an RPG fan, um, trying to work my way through them. So the Xbox 360, this is the elite version. I think with a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Um, as I said, um, I'm not really a major advocate of the 360, um, but as I said, it's a nice console to own. Um, and also the PS3, this is the uh, 12 gig uh, version. Um, I do regret getting this. I really wish I would have got the higher spec version, uh, but I'm working on that. Um, as you can see just over here, a couple of DVDs, these are just some anime DVDs. What I tend to do is anything that I'm watching or playing, I line up here. Uh, the controllers, obviously we've got here. We've got the region one, um, uh, the region one DVD player, so obviously we can play region one, or so I say all region. I think because of any reason I'm playing there. And we've got the Wii U there in the corner, obviously with the gamepad there hooked up as well. With the subwoofer, just with the speakers there on the side. And we've got the absolute classic, the bad boy. Um, and that obviously is the PS2. Now, I've had this PlayStation 2 since 2001, and it's still kicking, it's still going strong. Um, and I said, I'll be honest with you, I just love playing it for a style point of view. Um, so, but that's my setup. Um, obviously, um, I've got a seating arrangement here as well. Nice little setup uh, here at the sofa. Acts as a sofa bed as well, so obviously if uh, up an FE or anything is staying over, you can stay and just uh, stay in the room. Just onto the last bit here then of the um, games in terms of the game collection. As you can see, obviously the size of what is not compared to the PS3 or more, but PlayStation collecting than anything else, but I do try and pick up, um, how can I put it, um, uh, titles which were more or less just released on the 360. So we'll just get to it. We've got uh, the Gears of War limited edition uh, run one to three. Um, I do really like the Gears of War series. Um, I've yet to play three, um, but obviously I'm going to be working on that soon. Uh, Mass Effect, what can I say? Mass Effect is an absolutely fantastic sci-fi epic by Bioware. However, the third one in terms of ending is debatable. Um, it's a very debatable. Um, I do think obviously it wasn't handled the way it should have been. Um, but then again, it's such an experience to play these games that I would really recommend. You can get it for relatively quite cheap now, so I'd really pick them up. Um, more Blaze Bloom. Uh, we've got two limited editions. We've got Blaze Blue Continuum Shift. 
and we've just got blaze blue i believe that is uh, calamity trigger um as i said so yeah really good little fighting games uh, star ocean the collector's edition on the 360 now i've got the ps3 version which is the international version but this version came with i believe like a soundtrack and stuff like that that's the only reason why i picked it up uh, perfect uh, dark zero really cheap um, a really good game which i think went under uh, under the radar which i thoroughly enjoyed is uh, john Wu's stranglehold now this is the um sequel to the uh chinese um epic that was hardboiled um, as I've said, I know the PS3 version comes with the movie itself, uh, but this is really nice, nice little steelbook, and it comes with a couple of extras in there as well. Uh, Lost Planet 2, I do have Lost Planet 1, but um, it's been lost. Um, Samurai Warriors 2, you got Blue Dragon, really nice little RPG, um, as I've said, uh, really good. Um, one of my prizes of the collection I've got here as well, um, Lost Odyssey. Now, obviously, this is the PAL version, uh, which you can pick up a Peanuts, but this version is a Japanese version. Now, the dream of this is that it works on a um, UK console, um, but it allows you to obviously play the um, play the game itself in um, obviously its native Japanese uh, language, um, obviously subtitles, etc. And even though it's exactly the same game, I just think it's a really nice collector's uh, piece to own, as I've said. Um, but what I, I said out of all of the games that I own on the 360, this is my favourite game of all time. It is one hell of an RPG. Um, it's a love letter to the original Final Fantasy games, um, and it's got most of the original staff from those games who actually um, were actually on this game. Um, the music, obviously, the Guru Matsu. Need I say more? I definitely recommend to pick this one up, guys. Uh, we've got Fable Two and Fable Three. I'm working on to get Fable uh, One Anniversary. I get to play these games, but obviously, I'm gonna give them a go. Uh, Two Human, um, really good little RPG that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, damn shame what happened to the studio in terms of that. Uh, Infinity and Discovery, again, another fantastic exclusive RPG. Uh, Last Remnant, another fantastic one. Um, uh, Akai Kanata, oh sorry, Katana, I've yet to play this. Um, got it for cheap. Uh, Zone of the Enders, this is the HD uh, edition, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Ninja Blade, I'll be honest with you, cheap, really enjoyable, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, the original Doom 3 uh, collector's edition for the Xbox, really enjoyable. Second side for 360, uh, the absolute gem, the classic, the Shenmue 2 for the Xbox. Um, obviously this is the one that comes with uh, Shenmue the movie as well. Um, this will never ever ever leave my collection until I die. Um, and then obviously we've got a couple of uh, Wii games. Um, I've yet to play these games. Uh, we've got Red Steel, Tetsu Shadow Assassins, I played this on PSP, very enjoyed it. The Trauma Centers, heard they're really good. Guilty Gear Core, Mad World. We got Final Fantasy Fables, Chocobo's Dungeon, which I know is quite sought after in regards to collectors. Resident Evil uh, for the Wii edition, and No More Heroes. And this is with regards to my headset. Um, it's a Sennheiser, I can't remember the model. It's a wireless headset, so I usually just play it if it's late in the evening, I'm playing a game, watching a film, and it's really enjoyable. But yeah, guys, that's it. I had a great time filming this video with my brother. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to let me know in that comment box below. I will see you next time.